another man or woman to sit there and talk to them with a little pad in their hand. So tell me, you know, what, what, how do you go? You know, basically, brother, you don't have any control over your mind. You don't have, you got to control yourself, dude. It's a real simple thing. And you know what, Tiger, this is free. You ain't got to check in. Mm -hmm. I, I will come to you and tell you these scriptures if that's what you want. You know, you don't have to pay me. Go ahead. <laughs> read that, uh, uh, Hebrews 13 and 4. Marriage is honorable in all, and the bet undefiled. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. It says marriage is honorable in all and a bed on the file. Mm. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. So now, is God going to judge you because you didn't know Christ was black? <laughs> I keep saying that because a lot of brothers, man, they, they, they harping on the fact that, you know, this color thing, man. And that's the one thing that, you know, I'm a, I'm a so-called Puerto Rican. And when, when, you, when, you, when, you, when your focus is on that, Talking about color, you got a lot. I got family members that look white. They're not dark. I got family members that are dark, and I got family members that are very light. But when you harping on that, it's a very sensitive touch subject because now you're excluding your own people because now they don't look like you. You know what I'm saying? I thought the script. I thought one of our conditions of being in this captivity was that we're gonna be uh, what uh, separated in all nations. We're gonna be uh, right. you know um, scattered abroad in right. all nations. Yeah, right. So now, how are we gonna you know? Secluded to, well, brother, if you from Negro or Indian descent, then you an Israelite. Or if you from here, from there, you an Israelite. Just the whole 12 tribes breakdown that we were all taught, exactly. that we all had to digest, you can't prove it according to scriptures. That's why a lot of times when you see these programs, you see a sign or you see flashy advertisements of like, this, the, the, you know, uh, the Negro, so-called you know, Judah, and this. You don't never see no scriptural breakdown with it. And what's Christ dealing with that? So when, when you look at the scriptures with Christ and Paul telling you, don't deal with genealogies, what is that? Endless genealogies, what is that? It's an endless genealogy. So is that doctrine according to the scripture, or is that doctrine according to man? According now, to man. I thought, I thought mm -hmm. Christ uh, met Peter and James, he said, we'll try to be from. <laughs> who you with? Who you with? <laughs> What's that? Oh, he said, I shall make you come with me and I shall make you fishes of men. He didn't say, come with me. And, uh, by the way, what tribe you from? Exactly. Well, I don't know. You from, you from Dan. Right. Dan's been done away with. I can't deal with you. When, when he saw uh, Philip find his Nathaniel, said, yeah, follow him. <laughs> Christ said, hey, an Israelite indeed, me, a true Israelite, he said, in whom there is no guile. Not what set you from? What tribe? What tribe? Benjamin? Benjamin? Levi. Oh, oh okay. uh, yeah, you down. You yeah, good. you down. You good. You good. good. You, JTT. Because you look, you look kind of African there, but that, for a minute you threw me off. Because yeah, you was kind of dark. <laughs> spoke, you speak kind of funny there. You show you because Haitians and Africans look alike. You know? <laughs> and they have the, you know what I'm saying? So I can easily mistake a Haitian for an African, but you know what I'm saying? I gotta. Why well, I gotta ask somebody where they from? If they have received the scriptures. They are right. Israelite indeed. Right, because that's carnal. You read the scripture. Men are still trying to reconcile this spiritual understanding to what? A carnal understanding. You can't do that. You can't limit the scriptures. Man. Yeah, bro, it's <laughs> spiritual. The scriptures, Christ said, my sheep hear my voice. Mm -hmm. now, right? My sheep, if you're from the 12 tribes, you hear my voice. We already know that. <laughs> you understand the scriptures. You have to worry about what they look like because only Israel can receive it. Right. So you have to worry about what brother look like or what, yo, brother, what... Huh? When I was out there teaching, uh, brother, what's up? What, where you at on this sign right here? Yeah, you from? Oh, you from? You from? Oh, yeah, that's me too. Yo, and then like there's a connection there, brother. The only connection we're supposed to have is Christ. Exactly. Not because yo, you Puerto Rican. Oh, yeah, yo, you like Mofongo? You like yo? Like ain't about that, yo. You know what I'm saying? Ain't about you know being that that separation, that whole mindset right. of being separated. You that's know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a schism. It's a schism. But know? that was put out by Satan and our captors to do what? Keep us divided. divided. Yeah, that's all it is. It's the big schism. That's what it is. And it's a continuation exactly. if, you, if you teach that because it's not it's not the gospel. You understand? Right. We understand that. Listen, we understand if you under, if you read the scriptures and don't try to add your own spin to it, you read that only Israel's gonna be saved. So if you see brothers teaching a white person, how do you know that person is white? We can't go by what the what the flesh look like. We gotta go by what the spirit is. Right. If they receive the scriptures, I mean, if they receive Christ in the scriptures. Then we have to apply, well, Israel scattered abroad. We can't put label, well, brother, look, look, he got blonde hair, blue eyes. Where are you from? Are you sure your father's white? Your father, in Germany? I don't know. And then you're all hesitant now. 
What did Christ say? If you offend one of these little ones, it is best that you what? Cast a millstone around your neck, your neck and throw yourself in the sea because right. it's not for us to judge. We're making ourselves a judge and jury. Right, exactly. You know, We're supposed to teach the word. It says go out and teach the word you know, to all creatures. And that's the scriptures. That's what it says. <laughs> Who's going to divide at the end? The ones who know what they're dividing and how to divide. That's why Matthew 25 says he's going to put the what? Sheep on the right hand. and goats. And goats. Right hand. Exactly. And you know what? That's just not talking about nations. That's talking about what? Cats that's dealing in what? Mm -hmm. Wicked doctrines. Exactly. You understand what I'm saying? Those that are doing the duty and following the, the marching orders from what? Our supreme leader, Christ. And those that are not. So they know who's who. So we leave that alone. That's something we don't have to ponder on. We got more focus to deal with ourselves. Because that's above our strength. Exactly. We, what does scripture say? Uh, think upon that which which is commanded you. Exactly. And that's it. Yeah, you right. know what I'm saying? That, that's all you have to do, man. We can't be putting our own two cents in it because when you start doing that, it becomes about you and not about Christ. Now, when this class goes out and certain people listen to this in certain sets, they go, oh, those cats are going off, man. They teaching that the nations can be saved. When do we say that? How can you read this Bible and not know it's about one people? It's about Israel. I don't care what set you from. You can make many doctrines and many excuses and want to go into all nations' salvation, but there was only one people that was what? In sin that got cursed, that need to be saved. That is Israel. That was it. So that's who this doctrine is for. Period. <laughs> we understand that. But we ain't trying to tell you, well, the Negroes in America are from the tribe of Judah. Because that's above our strength. You can't prove that. You're not justified. What does scripture say? Let the Most High be true and every man a liar. Then that's how what? You be justified in your sayings. You can't justify that according to the scriptures. Let me read that real quick in Matthew 28. What? Because I, how can you gainsay this? Or how can you, how can you say, uh, bring about like, well, that's not what it's really saying. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, what it's really saying is, all right, let's read, let's read it. Matthew 28, 19. Mm -hmm. Matthew 28, verse 19. It reads, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. I don't know. <laughs> so when it said, uh, you know, go therefore and teach all, all 12 tribes. I thought one of the curses that we won't be scattered all nations. Right, so right. we limited yeah. to Central and South America, Dominican Republic. We missing off. some people. Um, what happened to the the Western? I mean, the Eastern. Yeah, exactly. We missing some people. What, what happened to the when when Israel was taken? You know, scattered all around the world. You know, what I'm saying we're going to exclude them because they don't look like us. Right. What happened? So then that excludes the, that the, 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 um, deletes the scripture in Revelation with seven, right. which is that they should come out of all kindreds and right. all tongues and right. all that. Right. So. But see, some people will twist that and go, see, that's everybody. No, it's not everybody. It's Israel coming out of these places. And this is the thing. That's why you can't limit it to what, what we used to say, North, Central, South America, and the islands. Mm -hmm. Right? And Cape Verde. Yeah. And Cape Verde. We do Cape Verde at the end. We do Cape Verde at the end, right? <laughs> that's right. I'll give it a little punch. But now if the scriptures say, okay, let me read one. Let's, let me read one real quick. How does that jive with what this scripture says here? Uh, let me go, James. Yep. Yeah, let me get it first. Uh, James. Oh, hold on, somebody get it, James. I got it. Get read it, please. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes which are in Central South America, <laughs> <laughs> now which are scattered abroad, greedy. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Read, read it again. I'm sorry. James, a servant of God. And of the Lord Jesus Christ to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting. That's why Christ said, go and teach in all nations, because why? He's got his people that's designated to receive this doctrine scattered mm -hmm. all over. Not in some, you know, the most high. He, he destroyed us as a nation and caused all this separation, but he made neat compartments. He put Ephraim on that Puerto Rico island, right? He took the, the, the Dominican.